Hey there, everybody. We are uh, doing something special today. We have driven about five hours today, and uh, I have um, followed through on a promise uh, because I think, was it Christmas, Dad? Or, or it was Christmas, Leslie and I got Dad a, a trip down to Tuscaloosa to visit uh, the, let me get it in the shot here to visit the Paul W. Bryant Museum. So dad and I have uh, driven the five hours today and we are about to go check out the museum. Dad, are you excited? I'm excited, yeah. We're also gonna stay in town tonight, but uh, want to spend some time. I don't know if we're gonna get it all in today. We may uh, split it up and do some of the tour tomorrow. There's the building behind me, beautiful building. As it says there on the top, Paul W. Bryant Museum. But I've been looking forward to this. I know Dad has. So we're gonna go and uh, spend some time. Daddy, do you have anything to add? Get some Dreamland ribs. Oh, we're gonna get some Dreamland ribs tonight after we check out the museum. I'm gonna take you with us. So about to go in and we've got a couple of hours to um, to enjoy the museum today, this being a Thursday. If we don't get it all done, because uh, dad really wants to take his time and look at all the uh, different exhibits and the new uh, video board in here where you can look up all, um, all the former players and uh, see their career highlights. If we don't get it done today, we're gonna finish up tomorrow, but uh, I'll also include some still shots um, as we go through the museum, so you guys can check it out. I also want to be sensitive. I'm not going to do a whole lot of um, video in here just because some of the exhibits can be louder and uh, I don't want to interrupt uh, anyone that may be enjoying the museum as we go through. So um, that, uh, that is why you'll probably see a little more still shots in this video as we go through the exhibits. So here we go. have this cool video board in here. It's called the Paul W. Bryant Wall of Honor. You could actually look up info and stats on every player. You just touch the screen and uh, follow the prompts from there. Very cool. <laughs> One of the really cool things about the Bryant Museum is it uh, not only highlights uh, all the accomplishments that Coach Bryant had, but it also kind of goes over the coaches who came before him and the coaches that followed him. Also uh, honors players that he had while at Alabama. So here, uh, this section here, when you first come in, kind of represents the early days of Alabama football. With Coach Wallace Wade and uh, the big Rose Bowl win in 1926. Then it moves on to Frank Thomas. And moves on to Harold Drew.
and JB Whitworth before we arrive at Coach Bryant's tenure. Says this is one of the iconic hats worn by Coach Bryant during his career at Alabama. Coach Bryant's career record, he won 323, lost only 85 and tied 17. He was voted National Coach of the Year in 1961, 71, and 73. And SEC Coach of the Year 10 times. He was put in the College Football Hall of Fame in 1986. Six national championships. Knows that's a list of all his All Americans while at Alabama. Man, it's a big list. I did not realize this, but it says that uh, Bill Curry was 3-0 and versus Tennessee. I did not know that. With an average uh, margin of victory of 15 points. And this is a picture of the team celebrating after the win in 1989. So after 
Coach Stallings, the order is Mike DuBose from 97 to 2000, then Dennis Francione from 2001 to 2002. I like it that they've got the little sections here uh, kind of highlighting the, um, the highlights of uh, those eras anyway. Then we get to Coach Shula. One of the highlights uh, of Coach Shula was the catch by Tyrone Prothrow. I remember Leslie and I were at that game. It was cool to see live and in person. There's Brody. And then, of course, we arrive at Coach Saban. And uh, this is by far uh, the biggest display that they have right now in the museum. Of course, aside from the stuff highlighting Coach Bryant's career, here's a few of the coaches' trophies. So I don't see a plaque or anything on this, but this is, um, I guess, a model of Coach Saban's statue outside the stadium on the Walk of Champions. I don't know if this was a scale model that the artist rendered first and then did the bigger version, I'm not sure, but this is exactly um, the statue, just a smaller version. There's Big Al. So this is so cool. This is a 2009 Coach's Trophy, 2011 Coach's Trophy. Moving quickly over to the 2012, 2015, and the 2017 Coach's Trophies. And here's, here's the rings down here. So cool. Game worn polo and hat. I, no, I suppose that's for practice. The hat is for practice anyway, and I imagine that's a game worn coach's polo right there. This is a section I really like. It kind of highlights the careers of uh, former commentators, announcers for Alabama football, analysts. They're all featured here on this board. Here's the Crimson Tide Sports Network banner. Former sports editors that have covered the Crimson Tide. Awesome. He returned to Alabama because he said, Mama called. She needed it. And there had been losing seasons and seeking spirits. The tradition was in danger of becoming a memory. He knew that if Alabama was to win, he had to concentrate not on plays, but players, people. You're not ordinary. You're not average. 